Hello, I'm Maria Garcia. Coming up next on The Lead, we will recognize an elementary school success in a local robotics competition, identify new ways technology is being used around the district, and we'll look at some changes in traditional classroom setups. All this and more on The Lead. Thanks for joining us for this month's episode of The Lead. I'm Aaron Baumgartner. And I'm Ross Bone. Robotics isn't just for high schoolers anymore. One LISD elementary school has been very successful in introducing a robotics program, even earning the first place in a local competition. So they had to find a senior, which was someone over 60, in the community. They had to interview the senior and find out what kind of problems that they have and then they came up with a solution based on the problems that they found. We have found up with an innovative idea to help seniors in their finger grip problems and it is called the Finger Genie. The fifth grade robotics team at Hicks Elementary School recently got an opportunity to create something useful for other people. You, you go on a computer and you have to program it from scratch. You got to know how to program it. You have to start it inside a box and it's fun seeing the robot work. Working in teams is beneficial to the students by giving them teamwork skills and preparing them for high school. If you want to do any extracurricular activities, you can work with each other and improve. Like, if you disagree on something, you can try to combine it or do your friend's idea, then do your idea. It gives me life skills, uh, knowing that I can participate in things that will benefit people and that I can come up with ideas that will help. The Robotics Club at Hicks Elementary is a great experience for students and the opportunity to join is available to any student. I mean, it, it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, or what your academic background is, you can, you can if you're interested in, in this, you can be a part of a team. Some middle school students have the opportunity to create a different and more modern version of an exam. These middle schoolers are trading in their number two pencils for a mouse and a keyboard. Eighth grade students at Briar Hill Middle School are experiencing a more unique and fun way of testing in their English language arts class. It's basically like our semester exam. Instead of doing like a basic pen and paper type test, we get to create our own website based on a book. This assignment helps students learn how to be independent and make their material understandable to everyone who might access it. It motivates them to do this more proactively and, and how to go and find information. How can you go get the information and how can you process it and put it in a format that everybody can see and read and understand. This test gives students a hands-on experience and an advantage to choosing their own topic. It also makes it easier for students to fully understand the material. It's really fun because you don't really have a purpose to make a website if you're in middle school, so it's kind of cool to be able to do something like that. My favorite part was not having to sit there and read and read and read over a test, but we actually got to interact and work on a book that, of our choice and then create everything our own, ourselves so we weren't tricked by anything. This change is not only enjoyable, but it is also beneficial to these 8th graders in their future careers as high school students. I really believe in moving forward with technology. That's what these kids are growing up with. So this is way ahead and I want the kids to be prepared for high school and beyond. A district initiative is being implemented in several classrooms that changes the standard method of learning. Instead of only being taught in the classroom, students are now also learning at home. Um, it's definitely changed my classroom because they are able to extend their knowledge further than maybe what I could do in 30 minutes or in 45 minutes in, in class. Kindergartners are trying out a new method of learning in school. Flip Classroom is where the students learn the content at home and apply the information at school using various games and activities. They're getting maybe some one-on-one -on -one time at home that I can't necessarily provide every single day, all day long. Um, 
where their parents can say, okay, well, I need to talk to you about this. And now the parent knows what we're learning in class and they can go at their child's level. This method has proved beneficial with the kids because they all come to school with the knowledge they need to participate in class. They all get the same opportunity and the classroom becomes equal grounds. I can prep them for these lessons so that the next day when we come in and talk about them, they already kind of have background knowledge on this. Or I can take what they've learned at home and then change it into something else. Teachers and parents also benefit from the new program because it allows them to be more aware of their child's learning needs and it is enjoyable at the same time. It helps you be able to make lessons to send home and help with parental involvement in their child's education and things like that. I've really enjoyed it. Technology is spreading to sixth grade LEAP students at DeLay Middle School. Students aren't just learning to read and write. They're writing their own books while using technology to get the word out. In October, we were making books and we were changing some traditions and holidays, twisting them up so we can make a book. And Ms. Williams told us that later on we would be Skyping some first graders. Hi. Say hi. hi! For most students, it was their first time using Skype. Um, Skype is fun because you can like talk to people from a long distance without going to a place. Well, Skype has to do with technology and everyone likes technology now so well, that way they don't have to come all the way over here, we don't have to go all the way over there and make more than one trip. We could just stay in the classroom. It's much more fun. We can't write things too um, complex for them but we can't write things too easy either so it's like you kind of have to write something they will understand but something that's also not very easy. It's a learning experience for the sixth graders at DeLay and the first graders they're Skyping with. It's going to help me and the little kids because we get to show how smart we are and just express our, our knowledge and then they get to absorb the knowledge and use it later when they're older. The Colony High School is converting its library to a more student-oriented learning environment. The library has changed in order to fit the needs of the students. It has become more than just a place for reading and checking out books. It has become a place to socialize and get work done. Well, in the past, the library never allowed anyone in for lunch, and you always were stuck in the cafeteria where it's loud. You have to shout to be able to speak to the person who's sitting right next to you. I just love these changes. It provides a better atmosphere for the school, and it's basically a little area where we can all get together over a cup of coffee and then discuss homework and study together. We really just wanted to keep up with the times. Libraries are changing. It's not just for books and checkout anymore. You know, we have, we keep the library open before and after school so students have a place to go to work on homework and use computers. And in the morning, it's, it gets really crowded in here because they're drinking coffee and <laughs> just getting prepared for the day. <laughs> If we ever like need help on homework or anything, we can finish eating, get eating done quick. If we can go through our homework and translations and all the other stuff like that, and then we can like share answers and compare, and we don't have to like deal with other people. Like, just focus on your homework in general. Students at the colony are taking advantage of this new change. They see it as an incentive to work together and study, and they are also enjoying the new coffee shop installed within the library. So, what do you guys think about the districts changing the libraries? I think it's a really good idea. It's going to get kids back in the library more, but sadly, since I'm a senior, I will not be here to witness it. Me too. I love a good book, and I love some coffee, so I think it's a great idea. Yeah, and I think it'll definitely give me an initiative to walk into the library more often. LASD offers the opportunity for students to get hands-on experience in career-based courses. Career tech education prepares students for four-year universities, technical schools, or even careers. Career technology education are career-based courses available to any high school student in the district. We try to hit the whole gamut of, of instructional strategies and instructional possibilities so that these kids get the most out of what we're able to provide them. You become part of something. And I think that lends itself for kids to be much more successful in school in general when they feel like they're a part of something because now they have 
there's something that they're committed to within school and they're not just showing up, going through the motions, and then walking out. You know, we try to describe the CTE courses as we should be the Disneyland of the district. This is where the kids, they chose, they want to come and take our class. They're interested in this field, and we need to make that, this should be the best part of that kid's day. You can make any work enjoyable if you enjoy the work, <laughs> but we still follow the no pass, no play guidelines for field trips. And so to be successful in our programs, you need to be successful in your core classes. Whatever it may be, whatever your interest is, is get involved. And if you're not sure, talk to somebody. Don't just sit around and, and wait. You need to start looking at what the district has to offer because there's so much that's out there that we can do and we can make your high school experience so much more enjoyable than, than you can ever imagine if you'll take the opportunity to come look at what we have to offer you. Well, that's all the time we have for this month's episode of The Lead.